So if you don't want to bother with movie render queue, you can just render your scene in two easy steps. In three, if you also want to increase the quality. Step one, to hide all of those editor only visuals, press G on your keyboard. Step two, click on this hamburger icon in here and find high resolution screenshot. If you're using the new UI, go to camera options and scroll all the way down. Increase the size multiplier to something like two and click capture. Now navigate to the location by clicking on this pop-up. Congratulations, you just created a render. As you can see, it has double the dimensions of the viewport. But how much quality did we actually lose compared to movie render queue, for example? Well, first, let's increase our screenshot quality just a little bit to give it a chance. So the step three is, let's open our settings in here, find engine scalability and switch to cinematic. Let's use the same tool to create another screenshot and compare. This is our original simple screenshot. And now let's have a look at the cinematic version. Here's simple, here's cinematic simple cinematic from far it looks like a little bit it got better but it's not quite clear where so let's zoom in if you pay attention to the shadows in here you can see they got really better as well as the lighting in this section but now let's compare it to movie render queue i have rendered the same scene in exactly the same resolution and used my professional high quality settings back to our comparison this is again the simple screenshot we have made in the very beginning this is a screenshot with cinematic quality settings and this is a high quality render can you spot the difference? Well, at first it seems like it's barely an improvement for our cinematic screenshot. But don't push the horses, let's zoom in. I want you to pay attention to the shadows in here, here and here. Do you see how more defined they get? Look at this corner for example, do you see how much noise is in here? It all gets basically cleaned up. Also have a look at those smoothing groups in here, do you see those pixels? Especially on this line it looks like an artifact and here it looks just fine. The materials also get sharper, have a look at this wall for example. Obviously anti-aliasing got better too. And between movie render queue and the original screenshot there is just no comparison. Hopefully you found this video useful, I will soon release a new video about my render settings. If you are watching from the future, it will appear right here. But in any case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my new videos. See you in the next one.